Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa bihi nasta'in My dear brother and sister of Islam salam Allah alaykum wa rahmatu wa barakatuh My name is Ahmad Radwan and I'm here at the Islamic Society of Corona Norco with the Sheikh Fadil Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin I would like to first of all to introduce you a little bit uh, about Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin who he is Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin he was born in El Mansura Egypt and uh, he began memorizing the Holy Quran when he was about 14 years old and he completed memorizing the Holy Quran and Tajweed when he was 17 years old. Uh, he's well known worldwide and for Tajweed and he lead the uh, Taraweeh prayer and uh, here and abroad as well. And uh, one of the things that uh, he liked to do is uh, mimic him Fadil uh, al-Sheikh Mahmoud Khalil al husari so with this, we're going to start right now and we will give you uh, a little bit of that. And then please join us uh, from 8 o'clock until we're going to be from uh, 8.40 until 9.05, inshallah. So here's Fadilit Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin. He's going to recite Quran and then right after that, he will uh, do some dua for us. Fadil Allah Maulana. A'udhu Billahi min shaytan rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أياما معدودات فمن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فدية طعام مسك فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وأن تصوموا خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون شهر رمضان الذي فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم تشكرون وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداع إذا دعان أجيب دعوة إذا دعاني فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون 
صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله فضيلة الشيخ علي شمس الدين beautiful recitation and I always enjoy listening the mimicking when uh, mimicking شيء على في شيخ محمود خليل الحصري now uh, we Sheikh Ali Shams Din is gonna do some dua, and then uh, after dua we're gonna pause until about eight uh, until eight p.m. So we're gonna start from eight p.m. until about nine o five. So please join us. You're gonna enjoy the program. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless you all and accept our siyam and qiyam. And here is Fadilat uh, Sheikh Ali Shams Din with the dua. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في كل وقت وحين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم واهدنا ووفقنا إلى الحق وإلى طريق مستقيم ببركة القرآن العظيم واعف عنا يا كريم واعف عنا يا رحيم اللهم ارفع عن المسلمين البلاء يا الله اللهم ارفع عن المسلمين البلاء والوباء والغلاء اللهم ارفع عنا وعن المسلمين البلاء اللهم عجل لنا بالفرج يا كريم اللهم عجل لنا بالفرج يا كريم اللهم عافنا وعاف عنا اللهم عافنا وعاف عنا اللهم عافنا في أسماعنا اللهم عافنا في أبصارنا اللهم عافنا في أبداننا اللهم عافنا في أزواجنا اللهم عافنا في أولادنا اللهم عافنا في ذرياتنا اللهم عافنا في أهلينا اللهم احفظنا بحفظك يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظنا بحفظك يا رب العالمين يا غياث المستغيثين يا غياث المستغيثين يا خير المسؤولين يا خير المقصودين يا خير المسؤولين اللهم تقبل صيامنا وقيامنا وصلاتنا وركوعنا وسجودنا اللهم اجعلنا يا مولانا يا مولانا في يومنا هذا وفي شهرنا هذا وفي ليلتنا هذه من عتقائك من النار ومن المقبولين الفائزين اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء شهر رمضان اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء شهر القرآن اللهم تقبل منا يا رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم my dear brother and sister of Islam, salam Allah alaikum. You heard the dua from Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin, and we're gonna have more of this. So please join us, inshallah, from eight o'clock until nine or five. And now we're gonna, uh, Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin is gonna do Adhan al Maghrib. And uh, so enjoy that, and inshallah, we'll be seen soon. Father Maulana, be Adhan al Maghrib, inshallah. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر 
اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله صلوا في بيوتكم ألا صلوا في رحالكم الله أكبر الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدًا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صلِّ وسلِّم وبارِك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين My dear brother and sister of Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Ahmed Radwan I would like to wish you all a very happy and blessed Ramadan May Allah سبحانه وتعالى accept our siyam and our qiyam and our salah and our zakah and our tawbah and every way that we worship al-wahid al-ahad say ameen with me allahumma ameen my dear brother i'm here with you today in the city of corona and you heard about coronavirus but coronavirus it did not start in corona but Unfortunately, they named that virus Corona, but I'm here at the city of Corona, at the Islamic Society of Corona Norco. And uh, we are very happy and excited that you joined us this, this evening. Brother and sister, we are experiencing Ramadan for the first time in a completely different way. That Mankind, we have never experienced anything like this in the past. And I hope and I pray that we never face another month like the, the, this month that we are going through. And with all these hurdles, the masajid is closed and we're not praying taraweeh together in the masajid. Brother and sister, everyone, he have a different theory, different thought how this coronavirus started. Everyone think, some people they think it happened by a group of people. Some people they think it's a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone he have his own theory, but in the bottom line, who knows? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's going on. Brother and sister, we must remain patient in this situation. We should not give up we should 
na'tasim bi hablillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this situation, He told us many times in the Holy Quran, be patient, be patient. So I would like to share with you some of these surah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tests us. He told us He's going to test us with a few things. Through our lifetime, we need to realize and we need to know we are on earth. This is not heaven. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said He's going to test us with turbulence through our lifetime. And He stated that in Surah Al-Baqarah. بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين Oh you believe seek help through patient and prayer surely Allah is with the one who are patient ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات and do not say of those one they've been killed in the way of Allah that they are dead. Instead, they are alive, but you do not know. Further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, pay attention to this, this verse coming up. وَلِنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us, surely we will test you with a bit of fear, hunger, and loss of wealth, and loss of life. This is what we are going through right now, brother and sister. We are going through, we're losing a lot of people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, we will test you. Loss of wealth, a lot of people are losing money, and, and loss of life, and fruits, and give glad tidings to the patient. Give good news to the patient. Man whom the one that you deserve this good news. Alladheena idha asabatuhum musib. Alladheena idha asabatuhum musibatun qalu. Qalu inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. The one who, when a suffering visit them, says certainly belong to Allah. Certainly, we are belong to Allah, and we, we him we shall return. My dear brother and sister, also Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tell us the following verse: "Wa ulaik alayhum salawat min Rabbihim wa rahma wa ulaik hum al muhtadun." Those are the one who blessed from their Lord and mercy, as well those the one who are in the right path. Brother and sister, despite the message it is being closed, this does not mean you forget about your salah. This does not mean you uh, uh, lack and be lazy on your salah. You we can because not because of the message are closed. We can pray at our home. We should not be missing the taraweeh at home. We get our family and children. And we can pray at home. You could also remembering Allah while you are driving. We can pray at the park. It's not only at the masajid that that mean we are done. No, this is a, a big test from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We need to remember, brother and sister, our main purpose. Why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He created us. Why He created us. He tell us, brother and sister, fi surat al dhariyat وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبِدُونَ I did not create the, the, create the jinn and the human being except to worship me. The, and this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in Surah al dhariyat We've been created, brother and sister, for one purpose and one purpose only. It's to, it's to worship Al-Wahid Al-Ahad Al-Rahman Al-Rahim Allah. So do not let this message be closed that you are go your way and forget about your main purpose. Brother and sister, also we need to uh, uh, do more dua at all time, especially in the situation we are in and in also in the month of Ramadan. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us for Surah Al-Mu'min? وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ لَكُمْ 
وقال ربكم ادعوني استجب لكم ان الذين يستكبرون عن عبادتي سيدخلون جهنم داخرين and those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your lord said call up on me i shall respond to you surely those who those of you who show arrogance against worshiping me shall enter the hell fire so brother and sister it's important to raise your hand and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us also fi surah al-baqarah ba'da bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim wa idha sa'alaka ibadi anni fa inni qareeb fa inni qareeb ujibu da'wat ad-da'i idha da'an falyastajibu li wal yu'minu bi la'allahum yarshidun Pay attention to this verse, brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking to Prophet Muhammad alayhi afdal wa as And he's telling him, if my servant, I'm my ibadi, my servant ask you about me, tell them I am near. I will respond to them. But he put two condition, brother and sister. Two condition. What is the two condition? فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُ بِي You have to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In order Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He accept your dua. So brother and sister, some of us sometimes they think, I ask for a, a red Ferrari and a house on the beach many times and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He did not give me that. So He did not respond to me. This is not the way to do it brother and sister. You could ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, yawm al-hisab, to, to, to forgive you. And, and then also you have to be sincere. We're going to tell you later on how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how you could do your dua and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it. There is, there is certain ways that to ensure that your dua, it will be accepted. I'm going to share some of, some of those with you, brother and sister. <clears throat> Number one, you have to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, number two, believe in Allah, He will accommodate you from your dua. It has to be inside your heart. Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when, 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 when you are asking Him, you have to come in out of your heart, knowing and believing that He will accommodate you. Also, call Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ud'u Allah wa antum muqinuna bil ijaba. Muqinuna bil ijaba means feeling inside you that he will respond to you you know believing in the dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will accept it from you also be sincere and modest and humble when you are doing that with your body with your face and be grateful and be ready to accept whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will give you because he will answer you one way or another and now when you are allah subhanahu wa when you ask asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask him bi asma'ihi al-husna he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he have 99 names. Uh, and then you ask him, Asma'ihi al-Husna. And he ordered us about that. And what did he say for Surah Al-A'raf? وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَ فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا And Allah has most, he have the most beautiful names. Call him with those names. So brother and sister, my dear brother and sister, when you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and raising your, your hand, you are admitting and recognizing that you, he is, the, the, ex, he exists. And also, you are, uh, when you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are admitting that he have the power, the provider, the sustainer, the rich. And when, when you do this and it's coming out of your heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may accept what you are saying. And then also there is, when you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is so many different names, it will be, uh, you could ask, for example, if you want forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to get the name that is suitable to your needs. Ya ghafoor, ya tawwab, ya rahim. If you want children, you say, ya wahab, the bestower. Ya wahab, if you want children. Okay, if you're facing its challenges in your lifetime and you want mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you say, Ya Rahim, the merciful. And if you, one of your family or you are sick and you need, you need a shifa in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a name for that. And you say, Ya Shafi. So you look for the appropriate name. Now, how about if you want money? If you want wealth, <clears throat> very easy. 
Ya Ghani, Ya Razza. So you choose the right name and, 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 and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be ready to accept what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you. Brother and sister, we are here in the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is the month to give and the month to, to take because one person is giving and another person is receiving. So uh, to spend fi sabilillah and the zakah, brother and sister, it's one of the most important pillar in Islam. It's very, very important and you will see it usually right after Salah. For example, in Surah Al-Baqarah 110, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us, وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجْدُوهِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ So you will find always that right after Salah is Zakah. What does this tell us? It tells us Zakah is very, very important. And it's, it's not an option, brother and sister. It's an obligation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He put it on the Muslimin, on you, that you must do Zakah. And everyone is capable to the amount that he have or whatever his wealth is. And let me share with you from Surah at tawbah بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم to see, to understand, it's an obligation, it's not a choice. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما الصدقات للفقراء والمساكين والعاملين عليها والمؤلفة قلوبهم وفي الرقاب والغارمين وفي سبيل الله وابن السبيل فريدة من الله Again, فريدة من الله والله عليم حكيم so brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us here, it's a farida, it's an obligation, it's not a choice. Sadaqat, it has meant to be brother and sister for the poor, the needy, the one is employed to collect it, and the heart, the, 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 uh, the one those heart are being won, and the travelers, and so on, and fi sabilillah, and then right after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say farida. Farida is just like farid as salah. You, you pray five times a day, it's a farida. So zakah, brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasize and he tell us it's farida. And it has been mentioned in the Holy Quran at least 184 times. So brother and sister, when you should supposed to give zakah? A lot of you, sometime you give your zakah in the end of the month or in the middle of the month, or you wait until a person, a needy person, he's asking you to give the zakah. Don't wait until he asks you. Don't wait until your masjid asking you and begging you. You're supposed to give it brother and sister freely, with an open heart, without them waiting. Let me tell you why. Because you're already committed to give certain amount of money to your masjid or to a, a needy person. And this money, you already know a thousand or two thousand or ten thousand, whatever the amount is. And then here, you are waiting to the last day of the month to give it, just like you're borrowing the money that you dedicated to them. So, especially in the situation we are in, you should give it in the beginning of the month and do not wait, brother and sister. And you need to remember your masjid, your masjid. And when I say your masjid, this masjid, brother and sister, the Islamic society of Corona Norco, it's your masjid. It's not belong to one or two or five people that they own that masjid. First of all, it's owned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's operated by you. It's your masjid and it's belong to everyone says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So brother and sister, we need to think of our masjid especially in, in this situation. We, a lot of masjid, not your masjid only in need help, but the masjid everywhere in, in United States and outside of the world, they are facing a lot of turbulence. Their, their bills is still coming, their bills is still there, the wages is still there, but the income stopped. Where is their income brother and sister comes from? The income it comes from you, from a generous brother like you. So brother and sister, it is not the responsibility of the mushrikeen to build the masajid or to maintain the masajid or is not 
the, the United States government, it's, res, uh, it's res, uh, responsibility to, to take care of this message. No, it's not. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tell us that in the Holy Quran. <clears throat> and I'm going to share that with you right here from Surah At-Tawbah. بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما كان للمشركين أن يعمروا مساجد الله ما كان للمشركين أن يعمروا مساجد الله شاهدين على أنفسهم بالكفر أولئك حبطت أعمالهم وفي النار هم خالدون الله سبحانه وتعالى clearly he, he saying it, it's not the mushrikeen the disbeliever it's not the responsibility to build this masajid uh, the house of Allah and and uh, but it's, it's not it's not their responsibility well if we ask ourselves and say well ya Allah who is it's his the responsibility to build this masajid who is responsible to build this message and maintain it. After you build it, you have to maintain it. Ya'muru, the word Ya'muru, brother and sister, it have double meaning. Ya'muru means to build and also to maintain and to continue maintaining after you build it. So let me share the second verse from Surah At-Tawbah. Ba'da Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. إنما يعمر مساجد الله من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وأقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة ولم يخش إلا الله فعسى أولئك أن يكونوا من المهتدين. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tell us who's supposed to build this masajid and maintain it. In fact, the masajid of Allah are built only by those who believe in Allah and the last day. And those who establish salah and zakah. Establish salah and zakah. And fear none but Allah. And the, we hope that you are to be on the right path. So, who are they? It's every one of you, brother and sister. You are, it's your responsibility to take care of the message and start with your masjid. The Islamic, Islamic society of Corona Norku, brother and sister, is calling on each one of you. We need your help under these circumstances. Do not turn your back on your masjid. We need your help and we need it now. Brother and sister, we, the Corona masjid, the Islamic study of Corona, it needs your help. How it needs your help? We have a lot of expense. It did not stop, even no one is coming in here. And I understand, <clears throat> I understand that we have facing a lot of difficulty. A lot of us, brother and sister, they were not working. Okay, but some of us, we have a cushion to ride the high waves until we, everything calms down. Your masjid, brother and sister, is in a facing a difficult time. Before we used to have a lot of money coming in every Friday. Now the money is stopped. The envelope is stopped coming in the mail. We forgot about our responsibility, brother and sister. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was the most generous at all time. Him and, and Sittina Aisha radiallahu anha, they always very, very generous every time, especially in the month of Ramadan. Can we act like them? Can we behave like them, brother and sister? And I understand the difficult time, but let me share with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He loves the most, the one they spend, even when we are facing difficulties. Because it tell him that he will not forget about our responsibility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put on us. And let me share that with you from Surah Ali Amran. Ba'da Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Please pay attention with me, brother and sister. وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ أُعِدَّتْ للمتقين. Again, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ وجنة عرضها السماوات والأرض أعدت للمتقين. الله سبحانه وتعالى تل أس hasten among yourself that there is a jannah. It has been prepared. 
prepared, brothers, a paradise, it has been prepared, the width of the, the span of the heaven and the earth combined. And he's saying it has been prepared. It's not going to, he's going to prepare it. No, it's waiting for us. And he said, Do you want to be among the muttaqeen? I'm sure you do. Let us see who al muttaqeen, because I want to be among them. And I'm sure you want to be among them, brother and sister. So let us continue with the following verse for in the same surah. And let us say, Man hum al muttaqeen. See if you are one of them. الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والقاذمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين. Allah subhanahu wa taala describe him here. الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء. The one they are spend uh, their money when they have sarra means when they have ease and they have money and no difficulties. الضراء when they are facing difficulties. Just like we are facing, facing right now. And then also the one, another word, when they are in prosperity or adversity. They still spend, are you among them? Are you among those people? And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one they control their anger and forgive people, in, especially in the month of Ramadan. Are you among them? And Allah loves the good doer. Are you among the good doer? If you not think twice, it's not late. We still have uh, the month is still left. So you can catch up brother and sister. It is our responsibility as Muslim brother and sister. I know we are being bombarded with a lot of fundraising. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I know we've been bombarded by a lot of fundraising. Masjid here, care here, Islamic relief, uh, Shura Council, all this golden opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you to spend. You could spend, diversify your hasanat and give everyone their share before the end of the month. Uh, uh, and, and diversified, do not focus only on one place. This is just like in the real estate business, they tell, you know, I'm sure you heard it, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So diversify your hasanat, every person asking you, but start al-aqrabuna awla bil ma'roof. The closest masjid to you, the one you're praying in, it deserves, brother and sister, your sadaq al jariya so you build that masjid, you build it for yourself, you have to continue maintaining your masjid, brother and sister. So when you should stop, when you should stop, I know we've been bombarded. I'll tell you when you should stop giving zakat. Very, very easy. Two situation, you, you could stop. You should stop when your heart stop beating. You should stop when your heart stop beating. And also you should stop when Allah stop providing you from his bounty. And, uh, and provisions. That's when you should stop. But as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brother and sister, is giving you, you continue doing that. And let me share with you, everything I tell you, brother and sister, is I will back it up from the Holy Quran that you believe in. From Surah Maryam. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was directing his message or this verse to Sayyidina Isa alayhi afdal salatu was salam. And what did he tell him? Please li listen and pay attention. بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت أينما كنت وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ها ما دمت حيا. Look at that. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he directed, whatever he directed to any Rasul is also you need to understand it's been directed to you. He tell him, he tell him here, and he has made me a blessed whenever I, I am and enjoy, and enjoy the salah and the zakah un, uh, until the day I die. In other words, he put an obligation on us and also Sayyidina Isa to, to do salah and to pay zakah as long as he live and as long as we live. So brother and sister, it is time to open your heart. Your masjid is struggling. Your masjid need help. Your masjid it need support. It's very, very important. And now, like I told you before, it's a faridah. 
It's an obligation on you as Muslim to support your masjid. Your masjid is suffering and, and need your help. We have a lot of bills, brother and sister. The bills is from electricity. Insurance, it did not stop. Uh, uh, trash pickup, uh, employment. Uh, and I can go on, on and on and the elevator. All these, it have ongoing expenses. Where can we go? To go to the church next door and ask? Or to ask who? We have asking Al-Mu'minun, each one of you, that masjid, wallahi, wallahi, you need your help. Whatever you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward you. Brother and sister, I'm going to share with you one verse from, from the Holy Quran, fi akhir, the end of Surah Muhammad alayhi afdal, afdal wa aska salam. And again, please, I need your undivided attention. Ba'da'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim. Ha'antum ha'ula, tudu'awna litunfiqu fi sabili Allah, faminkum man yabkhal, wa man yabkhal fa innama yabkhalu an nafsih, wallahu al-ghani wa antum al-fuqara, wa in tatawallaw yastabdul qawman ghayrakum, thumma la yakunu amthalakum. Brother and sister, very clear in here, and I'm gonna uh, do my best to relay the message to you. Here, here you have been invited to spend in the way of Allah. Among you will hold the out of greed, and whoever hold the out of greed, he hold goodness for, from his own self. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al ghani and we are the poor, we are the needy. And if you continue doing that, he can replace us with another ummah, brother and sister. So it is very clearly, you have been invited to spend the Fisabilillah. And it's up to you. I did my job. Islamic Society of Corona did their job. They brought me here. We did our job. Now it's up to you to listen to the message and to pass it on to everyone that you know. They may pay and also you get the good deeds. Brother and sister of Islam, Allah, every one of us is a sinner. It goes without saying. You know it and everybody knows that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Hud, وَأَقِمُ الصَّلَاةَ طَرَفَ النَّهَارِ وَزُلْفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ ذَلِكَ Excuse me. ذَلِكَ ذِكْرَ لِلذَّاكِرِينَ The good deeds, brother and sister, erases the bad deeds. So, when you increase your good deeds in the month of Ramadan, it gets multiplied. And then it might help you to go to Jannat al-Firdaus al-A'la, the one we all work toward, brother and sister. And let me tell you, do you know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to judge us? Do you have any idea how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to, to, to judge us? If you do not know, I will share it with you right now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brother and sister, yawm al-Qiyamah, He's going to put our good deeds in one side of the scale. And then the bad deeds in the other side of the scale. And if your good deeds weigh more, inshallah, you're going to go to heaven, paradise. If your bad deeds weigh more, you're going to go to the hellfire. And let me share that with you. Again, I, everything I'm back, I, I, I tell you, I will back it up from the Holy Quran. بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم في سورة المؤمنون which number 23 you could revert uh, uh, go back to it إن شاء الله and see and, and read it yourself بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فمن ثقلت موازينه فأولئك هم المفلحون ومن خفت موازينه فأولئك الذين خسروا خسروا أنفسهم في جهنم خالدون here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us what I told you earlier. Whoever his good deeds, whoever his good deeds is way more, you're gonna go to heaven. And your bad deeds, it goes, if it, your bad deeds is way uh, more, you're gonna go to the hellfire. And if you say, if you say, hey Allah, give me another chance, I need help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue for the verse and is right after that, Alam takun ayati. Isn't it my verses used to be recited to you and used to deny it? So brother and sister, it's time for us to open our heart, to open our checkbook and say, I am committed to give 
the Islamic society of Corona, a thousand dollar or a five thousand dollar or ten thousand dollar, or you could call and say, I will take care of the electricity bill. What, how much is it? Or I will take care of the trash bill, or I will take care of the elevator bill. I will take care of whatever you, you can, and we will provide you, uh, inshallah, the, the, the receipt, and you could pay it directly, or you pay it in here, and, and inshallah, uh, it will help us. Brother and sister, let me share with you, before I end, uh, a hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tell us, As-Sakhi, qareebun min Allah. As-Sakhi, qareebun min Allah. Qareebun min al-Jannah. Qareebun min al-Nas. Ba'eedun an al-Nar. Wal-Bakhil, ba'eedun min Allah. Ba'eedun min al-Jannah. Ba'eedun min al-Nas. Qareebun min al-Nar. What does this mean? An Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the generous person is near Allah. And near near Allah and near paradise and near the people and also far from the hellfire and the stingy person al-bakhil is far from Allah far from the paradise and far from the people and near the hellfire you choose where you want to be of course a generous person everyone will be want a friend with him everyone will come close to him the stingy person, al-bakhil, everyone I want to stay away as far as they can. So do not be among those. Brother and sister, I do hope and pray that this speech this evening inspired you and it opened your heart and let you understand your responsibility toward your masajid and toward your masjid here at the Islamic Society of Corona Norco. And let me share with you something before I close. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us, Ad-dalli ala al-khayr kafa'ilu. Ad-dalli ala al-khayr kafa'ilu. What does this mean? It means, brother and sister, whoever guide a person to do a good deed, as he did it himself, whoever guide a person to do a good deed, because he cannot do it, just like he did it himself. So here, I'm asking you, Please, please, please share this link with everyone in your list. And inshallah, someone, his, his heart will open and someone will donate. And you, both of you, will get, inshallah, the, uh, the reward for al wahid al ahad al qawi al jabbar Allah. In my end of my speech, brother and sister, I would like to thank you very, very much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and, and uh, give you the wealth and the health. Now, I would like to let you know our program is going to continue with the Fadilat as Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin. Uh, Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin, he was born in Mansoura, Egypt, and he began memorizing the Holy Quran at the age of 14 years old. And he completed memorizing the Holy Quran uh, and Tajweed when he was 17 years old. And he's well known worldwide. He traveled a lot of places. And uh, he immigrated to the United States approximately 18 years ago. And he lives in San Diego. And he is known of uh, mimicking uh, and uh, Mimicking the voice of Fadilat al Sheikh Mahmoud Khalil al Husri. And he, and he is one of the people I really love to, to listen to Fadilat al Sheikh Mahmoud Khalil al Husri a lot. So I'm going to introduce to you Fadilat al Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin. What he's going to do, he's going to recite for us uh, some Quran uh, just like Sheikh Mahmoud. Khalil al-Husri, and right after that, he's going to continue with dua, insha'Allah. So uh, let me see if he's ready. Are you ready, ya Maulana? Jahiz? Ta jahiz? Ta jahiz? Tfaddal. Ya Rabbi Quran, dua, insha'Allah.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا وقعت الواقعة ليس لوقعتها كاذبة خافضة رافعة إذا رجت الأرض رجا وبست الجبال بسا فكانت هباء منبثا وكنتم أزواجا ثلاثة فأصحاب الميمنة ما أصحاب الميمنة وأصحاب المشأمة ما أصحاب المشأمة والسابقون السابقون أولئك المقربون في جنات النعيم ثلة من الأولين وقليل من الآخرين على سرر موضونة متكئين عليها متقابلين يطوف عليهم ولدان مخلدون بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين لا يصدعون عنها ولا ينزلون وفاكهة مما يتخيرون ولحم طير مما يشتهون وحور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ مكنون جزاء بما كانوا يعملون لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما وأصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في سدر مخضود وطلح منضود وظل ممدود وماء مسكوب وفاكهة كثيرة لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة وفرش مرفوعة إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء 
فجعلناهن أبكارا غربا أترابا لأصحاب اليمين ثلة من الأولين وثلة من الآخرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى أذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم كل أمر سلام هي حتى ما طلع الفجر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, I hope you enjoyed the recitation of the Holy Quran by Sheikh Ali Shams al-Din uh, brother and sister, he's going to start with dua in a few minutes, insha'Allah. And all you have to say 
uh, Ameen after him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept in today. Now, I want to go back uh, to my speech earlier. We were talking about donating fi sabilillah and donating for the Islamic Society of Corona Norco. If you've been touched by this beautiful recitation on my speech and you like to send that check or to mail us any amount of money, you could please contact the Islamic Society of Corona and also I'm going to give you the address that you could send the check. The address is 465 Santana Way. It's S-A-N-T-A, -A, Santana Way, Corona, California, 92881. So also you could look it up, you could go to Google and put ISCN, or you could put Islamic Society of Corona Norco, you will find the address, you will find the number, how to go get hold of us, and you already, if you already made up your mind to donate for Sabilillah, and to donate for your masjid. Again, please, please do what you can. Do not wait until we call you or knock on your door, which we're not going to do that. It's your responsibility, brother and sister, to donate without anyone contacting you. So now I'm going to leave you with dua, and here's Fadilat uh, al-Sheikh Ali Shamsuddin, and all you have to say, Ameen. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في كل وقت وحين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ربنا تقبل من إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم واهدنا ووفقنا إلى الحق وإلى طريق مستقيم ببركة القرآن العظيم ببركة القرآن العظيم واعف عنا يا كريم واعف عنا يا رحيم اللهم تقبل دعاءنا اللهم تقبل دعاءنا اللهم تقبل دعاءنا واشفنا واشف مرضانا واشفنا واشف مرضانا وارحمنا وارحم موتانا وأهلك أعداءنا ولا تخيب فيك رجاءنا وأنت على كل من آذانا اللهم اغفر لنا ما مضى واسترنا فيما بقى وأحسن ختامنا يا رب العالمين اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو كريم حليم عظيم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم اختم بالصالحات أعمالنا اللهم اللهم اكفنا شر ما أهمنا وعلى الإيمان الكامل والكتاب والسنة جمعا توفنا وأنت راض عنا يا كريم اغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا ولمشايخنا ولإخواننا في الله تعالى أحياء وأمواتا ولك كافة المسلمين أجمعين اللهم اجعلنا نخشاك كأنما نراك وأسعدنا برؤياك ومتعنا برؤياك وأسعدنا برؤياك ومتعنا برؤياك وجمعنا مع حبيبك ونبيك ومصطفاك اللهم يا عالم السر منا لا تكشف الستر عنا وعافنا واعف عنا وعافنا 
وعافنا واعف عنا وعافنا واعف عنا وكلنا حيث كنا اللهم أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين اللهم افتح لنا أبواب رحمتك يا رب العالمين اللهم ثبت القرآن في قلوبنا وجره على ألسنتنا اللهم ثبت القرآن في قلوبنا وجره على ألسنتنا اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا مولانا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات يا رب العالمين اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين بك يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقنا بالقرآن العظيم اللهم ارحمنا بالقرآن العظيم اللهم اجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وذهاب همومنا وغمنا وأحزاننا اللهم اجعل القرآن لنا في الدنيا قرينا وفي القبر مؤنسا وعلى الصراط نورا وفي القيامة شفيعا ومن النار سترا وحجابا وإلى الخيرات كلها دليلا وإماما وإلى الخيرات كلها دليلا وإماما اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وأطراف النهار على الوجه الذي يرضيك عنا ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء شهر رمضان اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء شهر القرآن اللهم اجعلنا يا مولانا في يومنا هذا وفي ليلتنا هذه وفي شهرنا هذا من عتقاء من النار ومن المقبولين اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء ك من النار ومن المقبولين الفائزين ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم تقبل منا رب العالمين اللهم تقبل هذا الدعاء وهذا القرآن واجعله لنا يوم الحساب يوم القيام My dear brother and sister we come to the end of our program this evening Again, we do hope and pray that you enjoyed it. And please forward what you have seen and share it with others. Therefore, they can also benefit from it. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatuh wa barakatuh from the Islamic Society of Corona Norco. And remember, we need your help and support.